Thank you. I must say it's very distracting sitting there uh, and watching Clive, and you can see this amazing social media wall. Um, it's very, it's very interesting actually, and quite funny. You've got some good sense of humour. Someone put up. Uh, there's not a, there's not a Mr. Mrs. or Ms. on the panel. It's like watching an episode of The Crown, which I quite liked. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm, I'm going to take that idea of trust and just look into a little bit more of the personal side of it. Um, and it's all from my experience. Uh, so I've had 20 years in the British rowing team and I was thinking about trust and what trust means. And on surface level, it's almost interchangeable with confidence. So I have confidence in the system or confidence in my coach and I have trust in them and same in my teammates and crewmates. Then I thought there's one massive, massive difference between trust and confidence. And that is, it's sort of acknowledged and, it, and accepted that confidence, to some extent, can be bluffed. And it can be very usefully bluffed. So you don't like speaking on stage, you can act the part, you can wear the right clothes, you can get the tips and you can do it. And it will give the impression you have confidence and you will create confidence over time through experience. And you can do that in loads of different situations, that with confidence, and even the great Muhammad Ali, who gave all these great proclamations, and he said, I said I was the best before I knew I was the best. And that's part of that, you know, fake it till you make it stuff. And that can be incredibly valuable in a lot of situations. When you're talking about trust, trust cannot be faked, and trust cannot be bluffed, and trust is something that is earned often a hard way. The other thing in sport, we give so much feedback to each other, and, and it's often very critical, because the whole thing in sport is, how can things be better? How can things be faster and stronger and more successful? And, you know, every Olympics, every World Cup, you'll see better results and people performing better and better, because that's what sport does, continual, continual improvement. And to do that, people need to be open to, um, the, the criticism, open to the feedback, open to all that stuff. And what you can live with is if you know it's been doing in the right way, if you know it's leading towards that goal that's uniting you, then you can take any of that criticism because there's a reason behind it and there's an explanation. People, but like again, Alanda Botan was saying, it is someone is trying to make you better because you're united in this amazing purpose together. And, um, but I accept it's different in different worlds because the last thing I'd say is I went and did some work with the media in the Commonwealth Games a couple of years ago in Glasgow. And, uh, uh, Matthew Pinsent, who's another ex rower was saying, the really hard thing you'll do is you go into some other worlds, like say the media, is it's really hard to get very honest feedback. And as athletes, we sort of, we sort of crave that honest feedback of tell me where I'm not good enough because I want to be better. And I said, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And I went and did um, you know, my first sort of microphone interview thing, reporting live from rhythmic gymnastics, I think it was. And, uh, and I'm admitting I wasn't exactly Kit AD, I wasn't, you know, in that. <laughs> But I did it, and then I said, right, how was that? And they, the producer going, oh, it's fine. It's okay, well, I know, but like, <laughs> it's the first time I've done it, so where can I be better? I know it's not gonna be great, where, where can I be better? And they went, it was fine. And I said, no, no, I'm not looking for fine. I'm looking for fine. <laughs> um, and they said, oh, 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 in that case it was good. And I went, oh, no, no, now you just tell me what I want to hear. And they said, and they said yes, and I said, no, I genuinely want to know. I want to know feedback, how can I be better? And the answer said, um, we never tell the talent feedback like that. We just make, massage their egos, basically, give them, 